Well, good morning to you all. It's the 5th of July, 2021, yeah? 66 years ago, I was born into this world, into my stewing pot. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to be speaking about this week. Uh, Jacob's stewing pot, and uh, then we're going to run into Elijah's pot. Uh, yeah, life is like a pot, not so a stewing pot. And and today, I, I, I want to talk to you about Jacob, who sold his stew for his birthright for for a birthright um in genesis uh 25 32 uh, we see this as esau approaches him from a from a hunting expedition uh, and he comes to his brother he's starving he's really hungry and there is a pot of stew brewing uh, a red lentil stew now i'm not a favorite of lentil stews but but this must have been really uh, uh, smelling very good for Esau because he came to his brother and he said, man, I'm dying of hunger. I need some of your stew. Now, now his brother turns to him and says, look, uh, I will give you this stew for your birthright. Listen to this in Genesis 25, 32. Look, he said, I'm dying of starvation, said Esau. What good is my birthright to me now? <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, we, we've gone through those times in our life when we felt quite hungry and everything starts shaking. You feel like you're going to die, but you're not going to die. It's just dropping in your uh, low sugar. And, and yet Esau felt that he needed this food to get him through life and through the day. And he needed the stew to survive. He felt that he was dying of hunger. Now, again, Jacob... Uh, as we know, and he's called deceiver, we know that he, he deceived his brother uh, of wanting, because the one thing that Jacob wanted was his brother's birthright. And he did everything in his power, but he didn't know what to do. And on that day, he had this great opportunity as his stew was was bubbling away there and, and the aroma was filling uh, uh, the possibly the tent at that time. And, and when his brother walked in, he smelt this and, and the hunger even became greater and he thought well this is my moment this is my time for me to obtain the birthright from my brother and of course he sells it to him for a bowl of red lentil stew now now again what 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 does the birthright really mean now we sometimes overlook it not realize that in those days a birthright meant so much to the individual, the firstborn who was going to receive it from his father, praying over him and laying hands upon him, now for him to begin to walk uh, in in the very uh, blessings that he walked in, and so we see that it's uh, it means sonship. Uh, so so again, he was to be the heir to the throne. Listen to this trust. There was trust in this, that, that again, when the father trusted him with his birthright, that it will be passed down from generation to generation. There would be an expansion of growth among the family. That what he would have, that what he would obtain. Now there would be growth in his life. It would spread out through generations to come. And of course, the worth, the value of the birthright, it all belonged to the father. Notice that it all belonged to the father. Now, again, I want to come back to say to you this, we have a birthright and our birthright is found in the person Christ Jesus. Yeah. And our birthright is called the kingdom of God. Yes. Once we've accepted Jesus Christ into our lives as Lord and Savior, we step into that, what he has. We now obtain our birthright from him. The blessings that we now want to live in, we receive from Christ Jesus. Because again, we, we understand this, that Jesus said, I've come to give you life, an abundant life, not a broken life, not, not a, 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 uh, a stewing life where we stew in our pot. Have you ever heard that when people say you go and stew in your own pot? Uh, you know, it's kind of like, you, you are well, your own mess is your own mess, or your own pot is your own pot, your own stew is your own stew. <laughs> then uh, kind of that works out. But but these are the sayings that we often have received and, and, and have said, and, and people have said it even over sometimes our own lives. Now to Jacob, this was worth so much to him because he wanted to receive that from his father. Now we know again, um, as they were being born into the world, 
there was quite a battle on place for for who was going to be born first and we know that Esau was born first and and uh, uh, Jacob came with his hand held onto his brother's heel and, and of course we we know that entire story now now I want to say this that many have sold their birthrights to the devil just like Adam and Eve who sold theirs to the serpent now now again I, I'm not saying that Jacob uh, is like the devil uh, but so often we we are deceived not so now remember this that Jacob's name means deceiver he's deceived his father to receive the birthright that belonged to Esau now again the devil comes with one agenda to rob kill and to destroy and this is what he does he comes and he will use deception of taking us away from our birthright who is the Lord Jesus Christ and we see it happening all around us now I want to say to you this that God has given to you a birthright and that birthright is found in the Lord Jesus Christ so, so why not if, if you're struggling possibly in life today isn't it time to get out of that stewing pot and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life and again to know that you have now an inheritance that you have something far greater than what man can give to you and that is eternal life found in Christ Jesus because I do believe he's soon to return for his church so come on today accept him as Lord and Savior of your life